Hey, it's Ollie, and do you ever find that when you're speaking a foreign language, you get fatigued, you get tired, you're, maybe you're, your brain starts to hurt, your head starts to pound after a while of speaking? <laughs> Someone asked me this recently, um, they said that they get, uh, they get really tired after about 30 minutes of speaking uh, English and asked for some ideas about how they could stop that happening. You know, I remember when I, when I was first learning Spanish, and I, would, I, I remember clearly going to the Canary Islands and uh, going to visit my friend there. And one evening we went out to this bar with all of his high school friends. Um, there must have been about 12, 15 people there. And we were all out kind of drinking uh, ron con limon, rum and lemonade, uh, typical drink of, uh, of the Canary Islands. Uh, all night, we were there from like 8 or 9 p.m. till, I don't know, 5 or 6 in the morning. It was a long night. Um, and I remember, like my Spanish was pretty good at the time already, but I, I, I do remember there, there came a point after about four hours, must have been about one in the morning, two in the morning, when my head was just like, it, I couldn't think anymore. Uh, I just, my, uh, it was, I drew on a blank. Like, I was like, listening to all these guys talking, and they, you know, these are people who have grown up together on an island, they have a very, very specific way of talking, it's difficult to follow. And I was, I was doing all right for a few hours, but after like four hours or so, I just, you know, I couldn't do any more. My, um, my, 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 my brain was just full of stuff. And I was there with a, a friend, actually, an Italian friend who spoke good Spanish as well. And there was a, <laughs> we actually both kind of turned to each other about two in the morning and said, man, I, I, I can't do this anymore. I'm, I'm completely fried. And he had exactly the same feeling. Um, the interesting thing was, I never had that again. That never happened to me again. And I think the reason is that something happened that evening, which is that I pushed through a certain barrier and I, you know how like, if, you, if you go to the gym and you're building muscles, your muscles get bigger and bigger? Well, it's exactly the same with language. Your brain adapts to, to work with a language, to understand and operate in a language. And that night, for me, I think my brain must have doubled in size. <laughs> the part in my, of my brain that, that handles Spanish must have doubled in size, or at the very least passed a certain kind of plateau or, or threshold. Because since that moment, I have never again had that feeling of, of total overwhelm with Spanish despite very similar evenings very similar situations so if you find that you are getting tired after like 30 minutes of speaking English the only thing you need to do is to push yourself further that means trying to speak for two hours or three hours finding situations where you can do that um, you will suffer probably <laughs> at the beginning but that's the way that you build up your tolerance and your stamina for the language. It really is as simple as that. You know, you're doing a great job by already speaking the language, that's great. Now it's just a question of keep going, press on and get yourself that, that practice and very quickly, you know, you won't find yourself getting so tired. All right, so I hope that was helpful and you can take a bit of inspiration from my own suffering and I'll see you in the next video.